As I said at our first meeting, you have always been useless. But you need me for further separation, and evolve as a part of me when I absorb you, the useless version of me. The evolution of the divine tree. Why did it happen? How is Shibai involved in this? And what happened to Kaguya's ten tails? Also, there is a possibility that Code has a duplicate in the form of the tree's jubi. Enjoy watching. There are two ten tails, Kaguya's and Ashiki's, but for some reason, the tree is created differently. In the anime Baruto, we were told how the Otsutsuki act when they come to a planet. Two of them bring the ten tails, and one becomes its food. Only after that Yubi is able to turn into a tree. Apparently, this is the only option. However, those who watch the anime Naruto will ask one question. How did Abito and Madara create the divine tree, and Ichiha managed to activate it, causing it to absorb chakra from the planet and people? Neither Abito nor Madara let Kaguya's ten tails absorb the Otsutsuki, which, according to information from the Boruto anime, is required to create the tree. How did they manage that? It's not logical. But, in my opinion, there is an answer. And even two. The first, the most plausible one. We know that when Kaguya arrived on Earth, the Ten Tails had already absorbed a Shiki, thanks to which Jubi could transform into the tree. Kaguya was a guardian for it. The tree works in such a way that after absorbing representatives of the strongest clan, it will absorb everything from the planet non-stop. However, Kaguya could manipulate it, and she freed some people from the influence of Jubi. Thus, the tree did not absorb all life on Earth, because, after draining all the chakra from the planet, the tree dies, leaving behind just a huge, dried-up tree. We have already seen this thanks to Mamashiki and Kanshiki. However, thanks to Kaguya, the Ten Tails could live. It did not suck up all the chakra, and in the end was split in the battle against Hagoroma and Hamura. So, after Madara and Abito collected all the parts of the Ten Tails, it was able to transform into the tree. It had already absorbed the Otsutsuki earlier. That's why it didn't need to absorb anyone from this clan again. This is the only reason why Madara and Abito managed to create the Divine Tree, because the Ten Tails absorbed Ashiki before arriving on Earth. There is a second option. In the anime Baruto, we also learned that Kaguya fought with Ashiki, and he was very seriously injured. So, there is a possibility that the part that Ashiki lost was absorbed by Kaguya's Ten Tails. That's why it could take the form of the Divine Tree again. But I think the first option is much more logical than the second. As for the Ten Tails that appeared with Jigen, it is a young Jubi. It did not absorb the Otsutsuki, so it needs to feed on someone from this clan to transform into the tree. But something unique happened, the evolution of the Ten Tails, and it can happen only in one case, thanks to the Otsutsuki. Boruto told us the reason why Code's creatures gained consciousness. It is the influence of his incomplete karma. However, that's not all. Code's scratches, the technique he uses for teleportation, belonged to Shibai Otsutsuki. His body was used by Amato to transplant genes into his cyborgs, named Namely, Code, Damon, Ida, and others who were destroyed. They all had Otsutsuki's genes, a small part that allowed them to use his technique. And Code, with this ability, enveloped the Ten Tails and began to change its form, saturating Jubi with his chakra. To change its form, he pierced the Ten Tails with belts infused with Otsutsuki's power. And, as we have already seen, the evolved parts of Jubi have this ability. Everyone has the opportunity to use Code's technique. As we have noticed, those who absorbed certain shinobi can only use their techniques and the power of the Ten Tails, namely the Rinnegan. Well, also Code's scratches. In other words, this power has become a shared ability of Jubi. This means that, due to his foolishness, Code transmitted Shibai's gene to the Otsutsuki, leading the tree to evolution. Receiving new genes, they began to gain consciousness. But there is something else interesting, and that is, apparently, the main part of the tree, resembling Jigen, wants to absorb Naruto. This can only be for one reason, based on what we've seen, specifically, the connection with whom they want to absorb. Where does Jigen have a connection with the seventh, only hatred towards him. But there is another possibility why this part of Jubi wants to absorb Naruto, and it is that he managed to obtain Kawaki's genes. At the moment when the new son of the Hakagi was attacked by one of the tree's parts, it could gain access to his chakra or possibly scratch him, thus gaining the ability to use cubes and emotional attachment to the seventh. Personally, I don't want to believe in it, but it's quite probable. In any case, no matter whose clone this character is, there is something that interests me more, namely, where is Code's clone? Own. We have three people about whom we know for sure that they were bitten by one of Jubi's parts. And the half Jigen, half Kawaki, who does not resemble either of them completely, but the fourth bitten one was not shown. So, we do not know how he appeared, thanks to whose genes. Due to this uncertainty, it can be assumed that the creation of the evolved part is not necessarily related to someone absorbed from the tree. Because, according to Sarada's words, many were bitten in the village. But we saw only four parts gaining consciousness, not dozens. This can mean only one thing. It takes 
a lot of time for consciousness to form. Also, we do not know for sure what is needed, genes or chakra. I am inclined to believe that Code was the first whose genes the ten tails received. And this is symbolized by the fact that all the creatures have the technique of scratches. They all have Code's genes. Therefore, it is quite logical to assume that there is a fifth evolved creature. The one who moved the main body of the tree. And it's the clone of Code himself. He does not appear yet, as he supports Juby in a divided form. And he took control over the original Code. Therefore, he is no longer able to manipulate his creatures because a being with the same techniques as his, but many times stronger, has appeared. This is logical, and perhaps, we will learn about it soon. Also, this may hint why these four did not kill Code. Those who are in the tree, thanks to which the ten tails received genes for evolution, are still alive. So there is a small chance that if something happens to the gene carrier, that part of Juby may not be able to maintain its form. This means that if we take Sasuke, who is sealed in this tree, and free him from there, or kill him, his clone may disappear. This is just a guess, there is no information confirming my words. But there must be a way to stop the evolved parts, and this one fits quite well. In the upcoming chapters, I am waiting for the appearance of Code's clone, and an explanation of how Madara and Abito were able to create the tree without Otsutsuki. I look forward to your opinions in the comments. Good luck to everyone.